interest, so maybe this isn't a fair question to ask you, but what can be done to encourage more collecting of this work? Is, is, is there, a, a, you know, I look, at, I look at the collections that are in the Met, that are in the Crocker, that are in, 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 in San Francisco, all these different places, and unlike the Louvre, they weren't looted. <laughs> you know, they were wealthy people or people who just collected. So I think that's a huge, I'd love to hear what you have to say about that. I have a lot to say about that. <laughs> They're deeply invested in exploitation. So those people are of no use to us in terms of changing what collections look like. Now, there are also people who deeply believe that black lives don't matter, but will buy a Mark Bradford or a Kite for Far because it's an investment. Mm -hmm. Right? But if we really want to change the culture of museums, we have to change the money stream. Mm -hmm. The people who give money have to think that people matter regardless of your color. And that has not shifted. That's, that's, that's what I think. One of the things that I hear Bridget saying, which I think is so important, and I don't want people to sleep on this, you know, hip hop sort of surpassed rock as being like the number one genre in 2017. It's a zillion dollar business. <coughs> but, if you look at the communities in which hip hop was derived from, they're just as sad and just as poor as they ever were. So it's disingenuous to collect the work of African American people and at the same time not care about the communities in which it's coming from. And so it's really important to make those distinctions and to really sort of think about the wholeness of what we're trying to do. And what we're trying to do is have impact and really change communities so that we all can be creative and vibe and maybe speak about something other than 